Okay, happy Thursday. Welcome back to the vlog. Starting this weekend vlog out on a Thursday because I actually have another event to go to. So Oaken Fort gave me the opportunity and invited me to check out their fall and winter preview. Um, so I'm headed to one of their stores and still kind of shocked that I got this opportunity. Um, it's pretty unreal. So yeah, we're gonna go do that. Oh, there is a Muji beside me. She always comes when I vlog. It's so weird. Mina's sitting right here too, but yeah. Um, that's why I'm ready. So I'm wearing um, a coat that was sent to me by Oak and Ford. I'll show you guys my entire fit when I go upstairs or if I don't get a chance to do that because I think we're running late, I'll show you at the actual place. Um, but yeah, they also sent me a really cute tote bag that I'm actually very excited to use. I've had my eye on it for quite some time now, mainly because like I've seen it on TikTok and it just seems like it's so spacious. And I was right, like as soon as I received it, it is a very spacious bag. Um, so I'm really excited about that. But that's the plan. And I think after me and Faison are going to grab dinner somewhere, not sure where, but I'm like kind of craving pho. So we'll see. Um, I think that's it. I think event and dinner, and then we're gonna come back home and that's it. Okay, so I thought I would show my outfit. I'm wearing the houndstooth coat um, that I got. Here's the tote bag that I absolutely love. And I'm wearing it with a bodysuit and my other pants. Yeah. Okay, hello, happy Saturday. Um, decided to vlog today or like I guess this weekend because we are going to be going out. Today we're out to do some shopping but I also wanted to go to Eaton Center. Um, in specific, we really wanted to go to Nordstrom because each Nordstrom has um, its own restaurant and um, in the Eaton Center Nordstrom, there's this restaurant that we went to a while ago and we really, really did like it. I think it was about a year and a bit. It was before COVID for sure. And then we just haven't been since, so we wanted to do that today. Um, but yeah, I thought I would vlog because I'm doing things this weekend and I kind of miss vlogging. So I was like, let's just come back into it. I got a haircut. I got a haircut yesterday. And to be completely honest, I did not think that I would chop off this much. Um, my hair was to like here prior to me cutting it. Um, but I am, I'm like loving it. Like I haven't had this short of hair in like... I want to say a while like i chopped my hair off i think five years ago and then i've kind of just maintained the length or i would go back but nothing like beyond my shoulders i would always just cut it till here this one's like reaching shoulder length um but i'm not annoyed at it i feel like it's nice i also feel like my color needed a little freshen up and um i couldn't get a slot in but i felt like a haircut would would freshen it up and I feel like it has. I do, however, have to get it toned. Like there are, I got my color done in July when I got my hair cut and I can tell that there's like sections here that are just like way too light for my liking. So definitely have to get that lightened up. Um, but yeah, small updates. Here's a little Mina. She's a little loaf right now. Means look at the camera. Look, 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 there she is. Oh, Mina. Muji's sitting over there somewhere, so I will show you guys her before we head out. But yeah, uh, we're out today. We're out tomorrow. I'm Faison's not out tomorrow. I'm out tomorrow with my friends. Um, but yeah, that's the plan so far, and I'm going to take you guys along, so let's go. Okay, we got our food. I ended up getting the mushroom campanelli, I think, and I've never tried this type of like sauce-based pasta, so I'm really excited. It looks really good. And I think this is the bread that comes with it, so it looks really good. And then Faison got his food as well. But yeah, we're gonna eat and then walk around. Okay, we're officially on dessert. Food was amazing. Can we I got the affogato, and then Faison got the creme brulee that we really liked last time. Can but I yeah, pour it? You can pour it, you can the pour it. The creme brulee that we had three years ago, like four or five years ago. Yeah, it was really good. Mm. 
yum. And we got chocolate with it as well. So good. We're so excited. We have made it to H&M home. I had to come here because I needed an extra duvet. Um, but yeah, they have really, really cute things. And I genuinely wish I could have all of them because H&M home is so, so nice. And they only have their store in downtown. So I never actually really get to see it in person. But I'm like, look at this basket. It's so, so nice. Like, I'm not gonna get it because I genuinely like don't know how I would use it, but it's just so pretty. I think this was the duvet set that I looked at online, but I don't think I'm gonna get it just because these tiny threads, Mina and Muji are gonna go crazy for them. They will eat them all, so not gonna go with this one, but it's super cute. I think we just need a plain one, so let me see if I can find one. Okay, so we ended up going with this one. Um, not necessarily because we're gonna put it on our bed, but Faison uses these duvets as inserts to just sleep in, so. He's gonna be sleeping in this, in just the duvet, because he sweats way too much. But yeah, I guess we're going with this one. Okay, I've made it into Wilfred. Don't think I'm gonna be getting anything, but it's always nice to browse around, because their fall stuff and winter stuff is so beautiful. So yeah. And here's the huge tree. Still don't know how they bring it in. I think we think they bring it in pieces, but it's beautiful. How do they assemble it? I don't know. How do they disassemble it? We don't, we don't know. It just comes here magically and then goes away. Christmas season. Okay, we are officially done with our day. Swear to God, we were only out for like two hours. But, <laughs> um, but we're so tired. Um, our food yeah, is... our parking ticket said two and a half hours. Yeah. Um, we we know, managed man. to eat dinner, park here, walk, eat dinner, shop a little bit, and then walk all the way back on the matter of two and a half hours. Yep. We're, we're like speed eaters now. I don't know what happened. Yeah, me and Faison, like, when we get into a restaurant, we kind of just, like, not that we do it intentionally, but we eat really fast. Not fast, but I think we're just, like, we don't like sitting there and, like, waiting and, like, talking after. Just we talk we, enough. We talk, <laughs> we talk enough on a daily basis. So we don't really find the need to like sit there after and like talk, but our dessert was really good. The creme brulee was like such a good creme brulee. We had the one creme brulee I remember is when we had, um, when we went, when we were in London for our honeymoon and we went to this Gordon Ramsay restaurant and um, that creme brulee was so, so good. And if I, if we both like, like, label the next creme brulee up there it would have to be the one that we had at bar Verde. day it was just it was really nice it wasn't too sweet it wasn't too like eggy like it was it was really nice um but yeah we're done we're going home um and i think that's it for the night i wanted to show you guys two of the vases that i got from h&m i ordered them online so when i get home i will do that and then um yeah and that's it uh before before we sign off i just want to clarify why I sleep in a duvet. I said I said that no, you sweat. No, 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 no. So Faison sleeps in a in just a duvet insert, not like a comforter or anything. No no I have the comforter on top. The thing is I think what happens is that if I have too many heavy things on top yes. of me, it doesn't allow for like airflow. Airflow to yeah. happen and so I start sweating. Also yeah. Aisha's very, very she like heats yes. up a lot. So I think it's like having an extra layer yes. between me and Aisha. Yeah. With the form of a duvet. And the duvet is lighter. Yeah. So I have instead of two like converters. Converters. Because I, I sleep with two converters. I just have the duvet cover with a converter. So he just goes in like it's like a little sleeping bag. And, for and him. you might be wondering like why not like uh like a um, like what? like a sheet. I mean, do we cover you go inside? Yeah, it's, it's like, like a little it's thing. Like, you go inside it. It's like instead of the converter going just inside it, just try it. Just try it. You'll never Faison go back. goes inside it. So yeah, he got a twin one, which he was really excited for because it's smaller, and he got a nicer print than our plain one. Um, and now we can use the plain one as a regular. As we paint. did last time. But yeah, okay, okay, bye. Okay, hello. Um, here's Muji. You guys haven't seen Muji in a bit. Here you go. Oh, Muji, hi to the vlog. Hello, hello. Okay, go ahead. Um, it's Sunday, and I remember saying yesterday that I had plans to go out with my friends today, but we just canceled on that because it is snowing outside and roads are like kind of bad in some areas, so we're 
not meeting today we're gonna meet next week hopefully um, but I was really excited because we were gonna go to this restaurant called East Tikan and I think it's a Middle Eastern Turkish restaurant and I haven't been but I've heard great things so I was really really excited um, but yeah it's okay I think we're, we're gonna do the same restaurant again next week so we'll just do that but to make up for that I just ubered myself some Popeyes right now I got nuggets mashed potatoes and fries so I'm super excited um, I usually don't order like if it's like I don't know if it's like a small burger thing or something I usually don't order it off of Uber Eats because it's so friggin expensive but I was like you know what it's okay I'm really hungry nothing's at home and I don't want to cook right now so I ordered myself some Popeyes and I'm really excited um, and yeah so far what I've been doing is I have actually been filming a couple of TikToks um, I kind of fell off social media in general like life just got hectic um, but I'm back in it I had today fully like empty in the morning to film and I did do that and I'm happy not happy but like now that plans I guess f like did not go through how I expected them to I have more time to film content especially before it gets dark out because now I lose light by like 4 30 3 30 it gets pretty dark so I have time to film which is I guess a plus side um but aside from that I think um I don't think I'm doing anything else for the day I wanted to make um this Mediterranean salad that I made last week and it was really good I put roasted chickpeas in it so if I make that today I'll definitely vlog it um because it was like really good I don't really like salads um just because I just like never have fun eating them but this was so simple it had so many vegetables and for the dressing it was really simple it was like olive oil um dijon mustard salt vinegar and a half a lemon and you like whisk it together put in the salad and it just tasted very good so i'm hoping i can head out side with Faison when he comes home from work to grab some uh, cucumbers I think I need and like some other vegetables I would go but my car is covered in snow and I have no like I don't want to clean it right now so I'm not gonna go and do that especially because when he comes home we can just go together um, and yeah that's the day and I will I guess update you guys when my food comes I have to still show you the vases so I'll remember to do that but yeah Okay, food is here. I got a combo so that Faison can have some when he comes home because I'm not going to finish all this food. But I got nuggets, black and ran sauce, sweet heat sauce, a biscuit, um, gravy, well not gravy, sorry, mashed potatoes, and their fries. And um, Mina and Muji are after my food, so I'm going to start eating it. Lighting is so bad outside that I had to get both of my external lights up in here. Hopefully that helps. Usually TikToks come out, like if I don't have the proper lighting, they come out pretty grainy. Um, but yeah, I ate, it was really nice. And I've currently been just binging on This Is Us. I started the season five, season five. Yeah, I started season five, um, I wanna say on Friday. And I'm almost done, I have two episodes left. So that's that. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go and start filming and then we'll see. Okay, so I was just about to put them in. Realized that I didn't share with the vlog that I was gonna start making my salad. We ended up going to Loblaws, so anyways. Um, in this salad, I roast my chickpeas, and what I do with the chickpeas is I put in, what did I put in? Olive oil, cumin powder, um, crushed red pepper, salt, pepper, and um, garlic powder. And so I just spread them out like this. They taste really, really good. I put some paprika in there too. And then I'm going to put them in the oven at 450 for about 30 minutes, just until they're crispy. So I will check back in when they are crispy. Okay, so I'm here um, with all my vegetables I'm going to use in the salad. Uh, you can honestly use anything you want to. I just had these in my fridge, so I'm going to use these. Um, green onions, I have two carrots, red bell pepper, orange, garlic. I have to crush that. And red onion and um, cherry tomatoes, as well as the lemon that will go into the um, dressing. So I'm going to quickly chop all of this up and put it in my little container. So salad is officially done. I put more cucumbers in here than last time because last time was my first time making it and I realized I like having a lot more cucumbers in it. So instead of using one, I used two. But overall, I'm really happy with it. It's so colorful. It's so nice. And it's so easy to make. And I prepped an entire um, bin. Not bin, but like an entire, what is this? Like, I, I don't know what to call this basket no what is there's a word for it i'm forgetting um anyways i prepped an entire box let's say of um salad and now i will have it with my lunches um because 
it's good for about like five days I want to say so it works out really well for the work week um, and yeah I'm just really happy with the salad I'm gonna have some now with my dinner and then leave the rest for um, my lunch and whenever I get kind of snacky I can snack on this um, but yeah it's really really nice <laughs> 